Virat Kohli, one of the most destructive batsmen of all time, India's number one, commonly known for his outlandish behavior, aggressive mindset, and huge schlong. There was the genius of his batsmanship and gameplay, but also the exhibition of his self-belief and huge schlong that many say they own but very few possess. But what if he played for Pakistan? What's going on guys, Skip here, and welcome to a brand new series here on our channel called What If, a series where we take an icon of the cricketing game and place them on their fiercest rival. And if you can tell by the intro of today's series, we're throwing ourselves straight in the deep end. We are grabbing one of India's greats, Virat Kohli, and we are chucking him straight in at number five on his crosstown rivals, Pakistan! Now the rules to this one are quite simple. We're gonna be playing in a World Test Championship competing in six rounds of test series fixtures against the top ranked teams in the world. The difficulties and sliders are up on your screen for you to have a look at. We're going to make this as realistic and as tough as possible for Virat. Now we're all about getting cricket back on the map so we're going to replace one of the bottom three test playing nations with a minnow side. In this case the Bangladeshis will make way for the boys from Uganda. The playing conditions have been made about as hard as it can get. So strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, come and enjoy the ride. This is the series of What If Vera played for Pakistan. Here we are, ladies and gents. Welcome to the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground for our first match in this World Test Championship for Pakistan. And as you can see, there is Big Virat sitting in at number five. We do have a full Pakistan lineup. The pitch and conditions are absolutely mangled. We've got Malto. We've got Wayne for this one as the coin goes up. Big Baba is in control of the Pakistanis today. He calls head its tails we know it never fails and on a hard heavy grassy dry you name it 40 degrees the West Indies you idiots have chosen the bowl ladies and gents let's see how Virat goes with the bat let's go well, here he comes in the Pakistan uniform. It is 79 for three after 23.4 overs. Kemar Roach steams in. First ball to Virat. He gets in behind and he defends nicely. Well, who knows how these conditions are going to play out. Kemar steams in for the last of the 24th. He gets full. Virat just hits and runs. Is he going to run out his fellow Pakistani? He's not. He gets off the mark and after 24, it's 80 for three. Well, I think we've got off a little lightly playing against the West Indians to start. Roston Chase rolls in from wide of the crease. Virat goes, what are you doing, Virat, man? You can see there's no stickers on the bat. No messing about. One off six. Roston wide of the crease. It comes in narrow and Virat just clips this off the legs as he's done so often for the Indians. It's not going to go for four. Their boys are going to push three. Do they come back? Yes, they do. And he gets through. That's good running. Kalme is into the attack for his third ball. 89 for three as Virat gets a short one this time. He's struck on the pads. It was going over the stumps. Wayno wants nothing to do about it. Tell you what, these conditions are genuinely impossible to bat. Four off 16. Mares rolls in again. Virat plays and plays all around another one. No bat stickers. MRF absolutely fuming. He's made the change. He gets one on the legs this time, and he just pierces it down to fine leg. That's what the doctor ordered while batted Virat. Mays comes in for over number three, being quite economical. He rolls in, gets it full, and Virat plays and misses. Oh, that is a peach. Conditions favoring the bowlers. She's a hot day, though. Mares in again, lengthens up, and Virat looks a little better through the V. How on earth are we going to find the bounce? here. It's six off 31. Azarelli gets a short one. There you go. Virat finds the middle of the bat. And his first boundary for Pakistan. Well, have some of that. We were patient. We worked our way into it. We slashed backward of point and you can fetch that one all day. Roach back into the attack. Wide of the crease. Short again. And Virat goes bang, bang, bang. Just like the first. You can't get short. He slaps it back and it's four more. Absolutely superb from the Pakistani debutant. This time he goes again. And it's third time lucky. Third time even better. Shut the gates. Virat's off to a flyer. Big Jason Holder rolls in. Plenty of pace options here for the West Indies. He bowls a length ball. And Virat plays and misses again. 
Not a lot of sideways movement yet. Plenty of swing from the West Indians, but nothing to come back in. Is this time it hits the glove off here at what's going to happen here? Is it hit his hand? It has. Do they appeal? What's Molto going to say? He's triggered him. What have we got here? Vera, did it hit your glove? I don't know, son. We're going to go upstairs and he's going to challenge it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is interesting. May has stepped in. He bent his back. Did it hit the glove of Vera? I don't know. Oh, it looks like it. Was it bat handle glove forearm? Oh, boy. What's hot spot saying? That has hit right on the tip of his handle by the look of it. Molto did not think twice to give it. What's Hotspot got on the side here? Oh, boy. Yep, you're gone. Virat Coley trying to drive a length ball. It popped on him a little bit. This wicket, these conditions are hard to bat in, ladies and gents. You can see it held its line. Virat, you just picked the wrong shot. The wicket stands. Malto gives him, and Virat's gone for 22, and it's four for 140. And there we have it. Pakistan rolled in the 87th over for 260. Shaquille and Azhar Ali getting scores, but not enough to really land the killer blow to the West Indies. They replied with 271 in the 85th over and really made this a test match. We are going to pick up play in the 39th over of Pakistan's second innings. We lead by 128 runs as Big Virat strolls to the crease. Can he put the first inning behind him and put in a shift? Let's see how the big dog goes in the middle. And out he comes. The Pakistani debutant in for the second innings in this one. The lead is about 130 odd and Rostan is ripping them sideways as his first one goes past the edge of Virat. Looking like a genuine Mandingo party. Virat 0 off 4. He's got his good mate Baba down the other end. This time it's a little leg side from Rostan and we whip this off the legs for one. That's a nice feeling. Now Kemar Roach into the attack. This wicket is absolutely cooked. Let's see what he's got. He gets full. Oh, what a slower ball. Tell you what, the West Indies all over Virat like a rash. Kimo comes in for the last of his 30. Gets lengthy to Virat. He gets whippy and he just takes the single down the other end. It concludes the 42nd and Pakistan are 155 for three. Big Jaden seals into the attack. Gets that extra bounce. Virat looking to go back. That's what he does. And just like the first innings, he hangs the bat out there. He doesn't get all of it, but enough to come back for a couple. We won't be coming forward to any length balls, put it that way. This wicket has got my brain cooked. We go again and Seals does us all ends up. The length of Kemar has been spot on. Five off 20 for Vera. You may as well kick him over. He comes wide of the crease and goes through him like a hot curry. We just get some bat on ball, please. Two slips, a gully, backward point. Wide of the crease and he does him all ends up again. Jaden Seals, the more expensive of the bowlers. Can Vera get something going? He goes bang. He puts his foot down. You may as well go the aerial route. Vera Coley, yes. Well, he said, I've had enough of this. You put it in me slot and the greatest bat in the world's going to go bang for four. Well, maybe that's the one to get him going. Baba down the other end, seals lengthening up, and then Virat goes bang. Back to back boundaries, have some of that. Oh, in true Virat Coley fashion. Slashing, lifting, doing it all. Seals in, lengthens up. Virat goes leg side this time. Oh, when it rains, it pours. Is this going to go all the way for four? It, yeah, it doesn't. Well fielded. And the boys come back for three well-batted Virat. Roston continues. One for 37. Got two men out on the leg side. He's wide of the crease. And Virat punches this through point. I don't know what the bloke was doing. Has he been smoking? I don't know. But he gets Virat through for two. Can we look to counter-attack Roston? He's got no third man in. We get the reverse sweep out. We get the top edge. This time it falls short. And the boys scamper through for a single. Well, Jason Holder, the captain, comes into the attack. Extra bounces on the menu, but first ball to the great man gets slashed through second slip. Does he come back for two? No, he doesn't. Continue to play the patient game. 
Well, at least we think. Roston in wide of the crease. Virat steps across and goes bang over midweek at suck eggs. That's what you get for bowling pies. And the onslaught continued. Virat picking up a couple more boundaries. He launched a couple over the top, and before you knew it, the bloke was approaching 50. Virat approaches 50. Kyle May is steaming in to start his ninth. He comes in tight to Malto. Virat puts his foot over it and punches it to Gully for one. So he's crawled his way to 49. It's taken 75 balls. Kemar steams in over the wicket and he's knocked his middle stump out the ground. Would you read about it, Kemar Roach? He got the inducker going. Virat wanted to piss the offside. Your stumps are all over the deck. He's gone for 49. That's what you get for playing for Pakistan. Well, what a start to his career. He got bumped out, played and missed, had no idea what was going on. He went for one too many cut shots and his middle stump is cartwheeling. And just like that, episode one comes to an end in dramatic circumstances. Virat bowled for 49, going back to cut one off Kemar Roach. His middle stump did all the talking in the end and he's going to have to get back to the drawing board. Pakistan getting the chocolates in the first test match of the World Test Championship. To sum it all up, Virat, caught and bowled Kyle Mez for 22 in the first innings. And his castle was rocked by Kemar Roach for 49 of 76 in the second. But I tell you what, it is going to be a long road to the championship nonetheless. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below. I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of our new series, What If? And I'll catch us all in the next one.